Hey there, peoples. Doing the Dutch here, showing you some more League of Legends videos because, well, it's basically what I've been playing. So, decided to show you more. And uh, this is from a new standpoint. It's the AD carry. I have to admit, though, this is a bit of a troll game. <laughs> we decided this is actually just two of us. It's me and Doing the Dutch, uh, and never try a gun. So, we decided to go trolling here with a <laughs> interesting thing, which is a team of support, which is a kind of a new thing to do. <laughs> Kind of actually works out very well, we figured it out. So, the rest of our team comprises of a top lane, which is Nasus and Jace. We do not have a jungler, unfortunately. We were a bit sad about that. And we've got a brand mid lane. Their team comprises of a Evelyn Vane composition. That Evelyn on bot lane was their biggest mistake ever. You'll find out soon enough. Fiddlesticks on mid, which was weird because they got a Katarina on top along with a Gangplank. So that's basically what their team comprises of. So I decided to just show you here some... Here comes in the first kill. Evelyn decided to make the stupid move of going in. There's the first kill. <laughs> first blood, not even before the minute, from one minute mark. That is just... <laughs> that was hilarious. We were already laughing at this point. And it, the laughings are only going to get worse and worse from now on. It's only going to get better to us and horrible for them. Oh, this is just great. So, already Brand and Fiddlesticks decided to go poke at each other. I wouldn't really give this... I do have to admit that these two are not the best. The Jace does good, but Nasus is just a horrible, horrible feeder in this game. He constantly mucks up, so I'll accelerate a little bit here. I'll explain a bit about why Teemo support... Well, let's just say that Teemo support works better than you think. The reason for that is very simple, because he's actually got two abilities that kind of work well for his support. He's got an ability which is of course Blinding Dart, which causes that for the next couple of seconds, any basic attacks will always be misses. So this actually works as a very good counter effect on a AD carry. So as you can see here, once again, blam, second kill on Evelyn. We do not know what this Evelyn was thinking. Vayne uses her flash, which was a good thing as well. So <laughs> back to the point. Ah, God damn it! Decided I wouldn't say that anymore. To get to the back to the point thing. So Timo's got his uh, little blinding dart, which is very effective against AD carries trying to use, of course, their basic attacks to screw over their enemies. We do not pick up the kill because he has heal. We were very, very sad about that. Timo gets executed, which was kind of a. Oh, we were sad, but we could still laugh about it because it's an execute. So we're not, of course, supporting their team. So, I do unfortunately do make a mistake here. I get a little bit, of course, I get ignited, constantly get hate spiked. And here come an Evelyn again, along with the back of a Vayne. Vayne picks up this kill. I was a bit sad about my muck up there, but hey, the, these things happen. So, back to the point. Uh, no. Stop that, dude. Stop saying that. Okay, so, Timo has, of course, two support abilities. He's got his blinding dart, which, of course, causes that he. Like I said, causes a uh, debuff on his enemies, which causes that they cannot hit anyone for a couple of seconds. All their basic attacks will be missing. Does not count for spells, so that's a good thing. When he does not pick up that kill on Evelyn. So, the second ability he can use as a good support is his own little kind of collection of wards, which are his... Well, they're called Noxious Traps, but to the basic team, oh, they're Mushrooms, and that's how they've simply been called now. Shrooms or Mushrooms, one of the two. So he can place these all around the, on the map. And he can place as many as he wants. He can only carry up to three at a time. So that means he can only place three uh, simultaneously. But he can continually place these. And these last for such a long time. So basically what he's carrying around with is, is a backpack full of warts that actually poison, which actually damages and slows enemies. So basically it's the ultimate anti-ganking tool. If you ask me. So, nothing really special happens here anymore, so we're just going to accelerate this here. Jace is getting killed, so does Nasus. Like I said, the two top laners we've got. Jace does a fairly good job. Nasus is just an absolute disaster here. As you can see, because of our team composition, we work in good in sync because of our, of course, communication over Skype. So, we can constantly, of course, warn each other for incoming attacks and all that sort of stuff. Basically, just doing... Sometimes we're a bit, uh... 
just irritating each other, but that was my creep kill. No, I wanted that, and then they, we keep stealing, we try to steal each other's creep kills under each other's noses. <laughs> it's hilarious if you think about it. Maybe not to some people. We're not sure what this Fiddlesticks was constantly doing. He is just... I don't know, he's got a l very low activity uh, here. So, we just decided to constantly... The only thing that Evelyn can do without taking, of course, too much damage is... Running in, hate spike, run out. And that's the only thing she can do because constantly, as immediately once she gets within range, we immediately shift our focus to her instead of the turret. We, co of course, can't stick around because the turret, of course, immediately focuses on the first champion that attacks it's a, an ally champion within the turret's range. All these pinks are mostly from the enemy team. Brand decided to go here because for some reason their fiddle sticks went almost to non active. Brand decides to help out, does a very good job. Brand is pretty good, he knows how to. It's definitely. He was free to play in that time, still is. This shows that he's actually a competent figure who understands that there is more to Brand. And, and that you need to synchronize your abilities along with the passive effect from Brand. You see, Brand's got a passive, which causes that he 2% of the. Of the enemy's maximum health, so maximum, not current, so you can actually finish someone off with that. It, it is taken away over four seconds' time, but it also synchronizes with his other abilities, which can cause a bonus effect. For example, if he hits someone with his uh, ult, there he goes, he takes uh, kills fiddlesticks. Gameplaying does kill him. I'll just slow it down just so that the explanation can go a little bit without me completely frying my brain because of watching and talking. Uh, so, basically, Brand's passive causes that when he uses an ability, when someone has that passive applied to him, they take it, there's a bonus effect applied to it. If you get hit by his skill shot called Seer, you're stunned for quite a bit. So, that's a nasty one. I'm not any more sure what Pillar of Flame does, but it's nasty. So, Timo gets picked off here. They do need the the mid laner, or better said, Katarina, which is this extremely heavy damager to do that. Katarina waits for, of course, for Shunpo. And that. I just get out alive. Easily. So, Brand's his conflagration causes that when someone has that applied to him, he causes that all enemies within that area are hit by it by a large amount. I'm not sure what the ultimate is. I don't have Brand myself. I've played him a couple of times when he was free to play. He's a pretty good one. He's got amazing burst damage if you know how to target him right. He, that Pearl of Flame is particularly nasty if you let it go around. Those two are just doing neutral farming. They're counter jungling in a way, but of course that's no use because we don't have a jungler. So counter jungling is non productive in this fact. Except, of course, well, in a way it is productive because they get gold out of it. So we push our turret quite quickly. This just shows how horrible our top lane is. They do pick off of one. And you might be thinking, oh, Nexus is going to get that. Not considering his speed, and then all of a sudden the backup. He, he decides to focus on Katarina. Gets Gangplank in his back. Focuses on that. That's understandable, but Katarina waits for the perfect opportunity to go in. Because of the slow movement that Nexus has, he cannot keep up. He, he dies. Look at what Nexus has. He's got a door and shield, and he now has two deaths, and that's only going to get counted up further. He is a disgrace to Nasus. I have Nasus myself. I never screw up this badly with Nasus because I just know how to play him. The most important thing, of course, playing Nasus is to, of course, feed your siphoning strike. Evelyn decided to go hate spike on me. Fine by me. So, why AD carry, Dutch? I thought, well, we needed the one. And that's the only way that we always know for sure that we're in the same lane. Because it's the only way we can do. Because it's the only lane that always has two people in it. Teemo gets killed there because of the Ignite. Fortunate. But it does give me some chance to just free farm. If I could ever last hit last hits. This is the reason that I barely ever play the AD carries. I am a horrible, horrible AD carry in the early game. I cannot farm for shit. I can never hit those last hit. It's, I'm, I'm just not good at it. So, I mostly always play as a, a support. When it comes to gold farming, I am just horrible as an AD carry. I cannot do it. I am horrible, 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 and, and I will always be that way, and I will accept that. So, I just barely ever play AD because I know I am not really good at it. So, Brand's got himself a little bit of a pickle here. Makes his escape. 
Fiddlesticks tries to get him off with some basic attacks and ignite. Fails. I move back. So I'm just going to speed it up here. Timo decides to help out, of course, in the other lanes. Because, of course, we've pushed our their turret away. The first one, at least. So we were no longer useful. I'll just speed it up here again. Here we go. I just decided to go for a few golems. Oops. Katarina does get that turret. But Timo picks up a kill afterwards. So that was a good one. And a shutdown on her, of course, gives uh, Timo a 500 gold inc increase. Very good. Plus a few creep kills. Places him uh, trapped there. We do not get that fiddle sticks. Doesn't matter. We can go smacking on their turret now. Now, Gangplank has Jay's a bit on the ropes here. There's not much he can do. He just constantly... Constantly... May seem like Jace has got him, but Gangplank works better when he has the upper hand. Everyone knows that actually Gangplank's base damage does not come from his basic attacks. It actually comes from one of his abilities. The primary ability you'll be spamming the most, which is Parlay with three R's, no less. Which causes that he actually, well, shoots you, does does, in, does a large amount of damage, and even more if it's an if it's a critical hit, which is extremely aggravating if you ask me. Plus, it applies the poison effect from his passive, which is annoying, which slows you almost to a crawl sometimes. It is extremely aggravating. So, Brand decides to help me out here. Fine by me. I do not like the fact that he was constantly p taking away my creep kills. So was Teemo. I was getting very, very annoyed by that sometimes. So here we go for another engagement. Fiddlesticks is engaging Brand here. Fiddlesticks activates his ulti. Does pick up Brand. But then I come in with Valkyrie. Activate Gatling Gun. Pick up Fiddlesticks. We decide to go after Vayne. Timo picks up that one. Brand gets disconnected somehow. We don't know how that happened. He does return, thankfully. But this is basically when they've got it a little bit more on the defensive side because we're one man short, of course. We decide to push another turret. Can't do it for long because we lack, of course, minions to do so. Nasus just picked up a kill on Katarina. Didn't actually remember how he did that. Not important because it's mostly about us, too. Because, well, it's basically we are the stars of this show. Along with Brand, maybe. Actually, I'm not much of a star. It's mostly Brand and Timo that do the best job here. I decided to just scare them off. Wasn't the smartest move. And then actually, in my eyes, to be honest, I think it costs Timo his life. Thanks to that, though, I do make my escape. And I was very happy about that. So we're just going to focus here a little bit until I can... Just a moment... I decided I got a BF sword and a Vampire Acceptor now. And of course, I'm building, of course, for T. So, how do you build Corky? Well, Corky's most primary thing you should do when you're building in with items. Go for flat damage. Do not go for attack speed. You see, Corky has has a passive called Hextech Shrapnel Shells. This causes that the basic attacks deal additional true damage equal to 10% of his total damage. That means that 10% of his base damage... He gets another 10% added to that, and that is true damage. True damage causes that it does damage directly to the health bar. Magic res resistance and armor do not are not able to counter this. So that is very effective when used properly. So take that. So that's why you always first focus on base damage with Corky, and then you focus on attack speed. Most AD carries always first focus a bit on attack speed and later on. On attack damage, at least I do, but I'm not the most prime example of a good ID carry. So here's another engagement. They think they can have it. Nasty just get killed. So does, unfortunately, Timo. We only pick up a fiddlesticks. We didn't see that as a good trade-off. I needed to flee again because I was once again facing with their bot laners, and although Corky is effective. On his own against two of these very, very nasty ladies, his chances are not in his favor. The odds are just not. Gangplank just walking around, decided to backstab these minions. They get hit by a damn mushroom. Probably didn't like that. Uh, something ha interesting will happen here. I'll just uh, accelerate this a little bit. Decided to poke out a bit on Evelyn. 
So, I could watch this, but I simply make an escape thanks to a NASA safe. So, let's just keep a little bit of an eye on this Evelyn. Actually, not necessarily needed. Thanks to NASA, she gets scared off. Evelyn decides to stick around a bit. Does damage and damage and damage. Nothing special here. But let's just keep an eye on her. We'll just focus on her. Now, this shows why Teemo can be extremely aggravating and why a lot of people call him overpowered. So let's watch. She gets hit by the first. She takes damage. She walks through another mushroom. More damage. Third mushroom. Blink, blink, dead. She just died. <laughs> I was like, dude, how did you kill that? How did you kill that Evelyn? Was she engaging you? No, I was in the top lane. She, I wasn't there. Must have been a mushroom. Oh yeah, you're probably right. We were laughing at this point. We just want to... How the hell did you pick up that kill? So, another mushroom explodes. Don't know how this uh, turned out. Fiddlesticks comes in just for the save. Fortunately, we do pick up Katarina, but once again, it's a two for one. So we didn't see it as a good exchange. Fiddlesticks' ultimate is actually his most dangerous ability of all. He's most the only other thing that he's really dangerous for is his combination of of fear and health drain. When you see that happening, wait first for the fear, then the drain. If you've got some way to counteract that, a stun, a silence, do it. Teemo picking up another kill there. Never ever engage a Teemo if you're an attack damage based character. Be an ability powered type. You got a lot of you got a lot better chance of beating him to death that way than <laughs> using a basic attacks. So this is still actually in the time before the preseason free patch. So none of the new items and the new jungle mechanics have been implemented. Or well, mechanics, just a new jungle mechanic. No, it's not a mechanic. Stop that. Just a system that they've implemented. They decided to make a lot of changes. So we constantly just keep. We're in the. We're actually on the losing side at the moment. We're behind with one kill. I decided to go in. Almost get picked off here. If I didn't have that Valkyrie, I probably would have been dead. Luckily, Valkyrie was my saving grace. It is basically Corky's own personal whole flash. So, Nasus thought he could pick up one kill. It ends up them picking up a kill. Of course, Nasus isn't worth that much because he's got an because his score stands in 162. That is just pathetic and horrible. We were not happy with Nasus. At least, me and Timo can't really judge him what the others were thinking. Probably Brand wasn't what happy with him. Maybe Jace was his backup, his partner that he decided to go pre-made on top. Maybe. This is all just theory. I do not know. Maybe Jace was still a bit like, that happens. I don't really much care. What I do care about this is that Teemo gets killed again. Our superhero unfortunately had a bad date. He will make a return. What is kind of creepy is although he's dead, he still has his eyes open. Kind of creepy. So Evelyn decides to pick up the blue, our blue here. We were, we of course were oblivious to this because we can see it. So more of unaware than oblivious. So Katarina and Gangplank were there. I decided to pick up a few wolves. Finally, Brand reconnected, which we really, really needed because he's got a bit of a, he's got a slight uh, withdrawal when it comes to his health. Now, Fiddlesticks was now out of health and out of mana. When you don't have mana as a mid lane, as a mage dealing type, you don't raid your chances pretty high. Goes for a double kill. This wasn't actually a double kill, but he picks up another kill. Nice job. Brand decides to then come in because he needs a bit of a, well, he needs to. He needs to speed up his health. Health? What am I thinking? His experience, thank you very much. I am really screwing up today. Don't know where my head is. It's not in the game. Places the fear, gets stunned, unf uses flash. Fortunately, Evelyn does have an has amazing speed boost abilities. And with Gangplank there, it doesn't improve his odds. Thankfully, he does have a stun. And he also has some backup from a... A jackal man and a little dude with a big mustache, with a well, an epic mustache, if you ask me. In a well, I wouldn't actually actually call it an aeroplane, but we'll go with that. So Timo was just strolling around, not doing much special. So we're just gonna accelerate here again. 
I just used. Uh, it's uh, another apply application of well, Timo just picked up that kill. <laughs> we just missed that. So I decided, hey, I actually really like that blue. I would actually want to have that. So I just picked it. The Timo didn't have any problem with that. He had no mana problems, and I am a bit of a mana drinker when it comes to playing as Porter. Because a lot of his abilities actually cause quite a bit of mana, especially his Phosphorus Bombs and Valkyrie. So, how do you play Corky? Like I said, when it comes to his just basic attacks, I primarily would go for more attack damage than attack speed because of the true damage thing. So, you might be thinking attack speed does compensate for this, but it's better to have a lot of attack damage just in case. So what about his abilities? Well, his abilities, of course, come down to a ability called Phosphorus Bomb, which is a small AOE ranged ability, which also causes that he then... Uh, well, he damages, of course, targets with magic damage, as well as... as well as uh, it causes them to reveal their location when they get hit. They're, you see a bit of what they see while they're hit by Phosphorus Bomb. His second ability is called... I actually... Just completely fucked up here. Let's just go a little bit back here. So why am I going back? Because I actually forgot to tell you the most interesting part of this video. So instead of mocking around about what I was doing, let's accelerate to that part, which is about to happen. So let's slow it down here. What was so special about this video? Well, that you're about to see it. So here we go in. Katarina tries to escape. Poison kills Katarina, thanks to a plus a basic attack of that. Next one, thanks to the ultimate of Brand, we pick up Fiddlesticks. We decide to stick around. She focuses on Nasus. Bad move. Vayne tries to get away. Uses her tumble plus her flash. You might be thinking she's in the clear, thanks to Brand again. Triple kill by Teemo. That's a triple kill we're on now. Well, he's on. I'm not even where to be found at the moment. I will be for a short moment. So, Gangplank decides again, going heroic, and once again gets killed by Teemo. That's a quadra kill. So, Evelyn tries to focus down Teemo. Doesn't work that way. She has to flee. Teemo dodging the turret, going around the turret. Evelyn thinks, I can pick up that kill. I decide to come in. That was a panther kill. The support, not really a support though, but still, the support just picked up a pentakill. We were like, how the hell did he just do that? We were just amazed by this, and we were laughing our asses off at this point. Well, at least Timo and I were, because we were the only ones who could hear ourselves laughing. We didn't know what these other two, three guys were thinking, and probably the team was pretty pissed at this and surprised. So, for some reason, I decided to stick around. We do make the escape. Don't know what Brand was thinking here. He unfortunately does get killed by Ignite, which is kind of ironic considering that the dude is made out of fire mostly. So I'll just speed it up here. It's just a simple escape. La -di -la -di -da -di -da -da -da. She gives up that escape. I make my way out. Recall, etc., etc. Nothing special. So these two decided there's a big force coming on top lane. So they decided to converge on that with three guys, or well, three women in this case. Considering what our team, let's just go over what how I like to see how what our team is comprising of. It consists of a forest hamster, a dude with an anger management issues, and definitely needs to go to a burn wound center. A dude with a, a well transformer hammer, as I'd like to call it. A jackal dude, very inspired in the idea of a Nubis. And a little guy with an epic mustache in an aeroplane. So back to the point that I tried to pick up Katarina. Don't succeed. Do not pick up any kills. Do pick up support assists here. Not very good, but I will live with it. Okay, so their team is comprising of a woman with who has a fetish for blades. A, well, the most atypical, most typical kind of pirate dude you can find. A woman who's got, well, family issues if you ask me. A SM kind of woman who is very, very disturbing in many more ways than one. And a demonic scarecrow. But back to the point. <laughs> it was just going hilarious at this point. So, 
Phil thinks he could pick up Grant. Yeah, that didn't go well for him. <laughs> Maybe if Jace wouldn't be there, he might have gotten it. But Jace kind of, uh, well, ruined that plan. So Jace and S has decided to go for a attack on this turret. Here comes the next wave of minions. Here comes in Katarina and Evelyn. Fortunately, for those two, Evelyn and Katarina, I mean, they do not get it thanks to the acceleration gate of Jace. So Jace has his uses for once. So as you can see in this chat, they were not very happy about the pentakill. They were also not very happy about a lot of things, mostly us, because we were kicking their asses. As you can see by the scoring, we're ahead by eight point by eight kills. Correction, make that seven now. Here we go in. Here comes the kill. Here, unfortunately, we do screw up. Brand walks away, decides to turn around at the wrong moment. Nasus is thinking he can go get something. Doesn't succeed. Fortunately, Brand doesn't continue. Maybe if he did, he could have done more damage. As you can see, we've got Evelyn recalling here. She gets away. Katarina does as well. So, Brand thinks he didn't see her in that burst, so he decides, Ha! Ah, I found you! Now I can kill you! That, 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 that just didn't go well, friend. You get that a lot with Katarina. She is extremely potent. She has amazing burst damage. It's one of her most nastiest things, com especially with her ultimate. So they think they can pick up a kill here. At least Katarina thinks. So she comes in, smack, smack, smack. Yeah, that didn't go well for her. Yeah, like I said before, do not... <laughs> you should not take on a Teemo that scored a pentakill. I think there's a lesson to be learned in that. Do not give a pentakill to Teemo. Do not overfed the Teemo because he will kick your ass until that point, but come on. Con considering how low Timo's health was, he can't be. So I decide to avenge my little friend here and kill myself and Evelyn. Yummy. I took a ignite there a little early from her, so I get out of alive. So Jason and I thought, hey, let's keep this going. We gotta, we gotta annoy the hell out of these bastards. So I get killed off again, unfortunately. So here's Fiddlesticks. He just, look at that elf. Elf bar gone. So here's Vayne. Vayne gets a bit pushed around, then gets ignited, then gets smacked by, by the jackal man, and then she dies, unfortunately. Another kill. This team is pretty good. It's not the team that I would recommend playing with, especially with this Nasus, who's still on 278. But it works out. So, as you can see, we just keep moving and moving and moving and moving and moving and moving. It just doesn't get much more interesting. We do get a little bit of an interesting little more multi-kill that comes up. I think it's about this. No, because there's a few numbers too short. Okay, let's just slow it down here because this is where it happens. This is when we go see another nice little thing. So they say target brand, target brand. Then they say target Timo. Brand makes his escape. Unfortunately, this is apparently not that point that I thought it was going to come. So it'll be later. So accelerate here. Let, 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 just used to, I just used uh, Jace's acceleration gate to uh, speed up the video. Yeah, it's a new feature that they decided to implement. Jace is very useful for video editing. It's what he's renowned for. So they tried to pick me up here. Slowed me. Used Valkyries. Got away. Simple. So la da 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 Just keep farming and farming and farming. Do amazing, dam amazing damage. So I decided, hmm, let's go see what's going on at bot lane. Oh yeah, Teemo's getting his ass kicked. So unfortunately, I didn't want to go through the Gangplank Ultimate. I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a pussy on that front. I think I can pick up that kill. Fortunately, she used Flash and Heal. The bitch, I know. I could have picked up that kill easily if she didn't have that. But hey, it's called uh, use of abilities. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold a grudge on something that I would have done the same situation. So I decided to go around. Bran is just chilling out in the brush. I'm surprised the brush hasn't caught fire yet because the dude is literally made out of fire. So actually in a way Jace is as well with that Sunfire Cape. New spell effect of course also because of the new patching. The patching works it's kind of weird with a little replay on that front. It shows the new particle effects and sort of things. Some of the new other effects but for some reason it doesn't sh for some, this was of course before that patch came out. So why it showed it here, 
We still didn't get that point. I still don't get that. I really don't much care. So here they say target Corky. He's the most squishiest. So they do. I make an escape. So, here we go. Brand sticks around. So do I, because I barely took any damage. Did use Valkyrie as my escape, but then again, that's a better choice than Flash, because Flash got a lot of, has a much longer cooldown on it. So, Gangplank pushes to the bot lane. Hopes he can pick up a Nasus, I think. Or not. He goes for the walls. Never mind. So, here we go. She dodged that. As you can see, using Flash. No biggie there. She flees. Didn't really take a big issue out of that. Timo just doing what he wants to. So there's the first kill on Gangplank. Brand just killed him. <laughs> Gangplank wasn't happy that Brand took that, made that kill. So Jace goes around here again. Start. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is new. We didn't know they could do that. Uh, is there any? Ah, fuck it. I'll just keep it. I didn't know I actually could do that. Now I do. So back to the point. <laughs> I said it again, didn't I? I'm, I'm just gonna put a pickle jar here, get my wallet, a lot of coins, and then I'm gonna see how much coins I need to put in here before I'm finally gonna realize that I need to stop saying that. So, besides my aggravating reason to say the same sentence constantly, here comes in Katarina, she picks off me, Baron comes in, unfortunately doesn't get the kill, Probably wasn't happy that Timo did. So, here they go. They do pick up that kill on Bran. Evelyn does her best to chase away from Timo. Doesn't succeed. Now, you see, what you just saw was Gangplank activating Yomu's Ghostblade, which increases your attack speed. That would work if he wasn't blinded. Bye bye, Gangplank. You don't use that. You don't do that if you know you're going to face an enemy who can do that. Now this, at this, as you can see in the chat, Gangplank was a bit, was a bit upset that, of course. Is that, of course, the poison kind of screwed him over? Yeah, these things happen, I always say. Never piss off a, never piss off a uh, Teemo. That's simply what the message here. Do not overfeed. If you get if your enemy gets an overfed Teemo, you're pretty much done for. Because mushrooms do will kick your ass. They will explode you into a billion pieces, especially when the Teemo has a rabbit and staff cap. Yikes to them. So they're in a bit of respawns. We're just gonna accelerate because nothing interesting happens here. Yeah, they I just fly fast because well, makes me faster, so why not? I decided I wanted that blow very badly. Actually, I didn't. Joking there. I just decided I'm a good, I'm a nice guy. Let's help out the doggy man. The doggy man. So here we go. Another engagement here. This is where we're going to see the next multi kill. So I'm just gonna slow this down again. Kill by Brand with the ulti. Already does a lot of damage with on Evelyn with that ulti. I decided to come in, do a little bit of damage to get cut down. I make my escape thanks to that my Valkyrie. Brand picks up the next kill, does more damage, kills Fiddlesticks, and now the only one is left is of course Katarina, which also dies. So now we just push. Yada day, yada day. So at this point I can't accelerate anymore because well as far as the player knows, just doesn't know. This is just game over for them. This is showing you how I play horribly as a AD carry and how amazingly dangerous an overfed Teemo is. So, <laughs> yeah, this was a lot of fun. GG, WP, we won. They call us. They call themselves Team Noob. We call ourselves Team Winners. Yay! See you later, guys.